Honestly, at first I was like, oh, I need a stethoscope case to put my stethoscope in so it could be protected. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is sonya and i am now a senior nursing student i have one more year because i graduate next may 2024 so this video is going to be a quick one it's just going to be um things for nursing school that you don't need to buy um because when i be seeing when i did my own supply haul and when i look at other people's supply hauls and I've been in nursing school a year now. It's kind of like, okay, we didn't need this. I didn't even need to buy this. So I thought that would be helpful for you guys who are starting nursing school soon. So yeah, but first, before we get into the video, I want to give a quick rundown on how this semester went this past spring semester. Um, and I want to say it actually went pretty good. I finished med surge with a B. Um, it was like an 82. I was hanging on by a thread, y'all. So we have ATI, um, like it's called CAP. It's like we have two different ATI tests we take. Um, and you have to get like at least a level one to be passing. But for this class, um, a level one is like, I don't know, like a little less than a 60 or something. But because it has information that we don't, that we won't learn until our senior year, um, we have the option to do these ATI templates um, to raise our grade up, uh, like an additional level. So if you got a level one, it can bump to a level two. If you got a level two, it can bump to a level three. Y'all, I took that ATI test. I got less than a level one. When you get less than a level one, you like, it's basically like you fail. There are certain steps that you have to do to be passing again. Cause like if I wouldn't have done, so what we have to do is ATI templates um, on each concept that you missed. And I had to do like 43 ATI templates and y'all it took so long, um, but I was trying to get it done before grades were due. So that way um, my, I don't have like an incomplete in the class because if you don't have it, you have you have like a week or two after finals um, and then they can just go in and change that incomplete to your actual grade. But I didn't want to incomplete in the first place. So I was just like, well, let me just get these done. So anywho, yeah, so I failed ATI. I had to do all of the templates, um, but I'm happy med surge is over with for now because senior year is critical care. And then psych. I got, we have to do ATI for that one. And I actually got a level two. So, um, cause I got like a high C basically, um, but it was a level two and I was happy with that. I finished psych with the B as well. Um, I really wish I could have gotten A, but it's whatever because in the easy classes or excuse me, not necessarily easy, but research, I got an A and then older adults, which was actually easy because we didn't have any exams, just discussion boards and a paper and stuff. Um, I got an A in that class too. So my GPA is um, three point, it raised from like 3.3 .3 to like 3.4 or something. So I'm happy with it, I'm not complaining, like whatever, I worked my butt off this semester and I'm on my break now. I'm at home, as y'all can see, I'm not in my dorm. Um, so I'm just happy to be done with J2. One more exciting thing before we actually get into the real video. Um, y'all, I got a Clinical Excellence Award for med surge. So a Clinical Excellence Award is you being nominated by your clinical instructor for excelling in clinical. Um, and you have like a little award ceremony, you can present at the award. But I was already moved out of my dorm by the time the award ceremony was happening. So they just sent it to me in the mail. Um, but yeah, that is going on my resume. A clinical excellence award is like a big deal. Like I think only, I don't know, was it like 17 students? Or like it was less than 20 students got one out of like around 200 or so for the semester um, for my uh, cohort. So yeah, your girl ate that up. But 
Okay, let's get into the actual video. So the first thing, this is from my supply haul um, that you do not need for nursing school. Well, for me, I got like three of these, three packs of three of these mini notebooks. It's useless. Like there's nothing that you're gonna need to write down that won't already be like in your patient's chart or you don't have a care plan printed out already for like the mini notebooks for me were pretty useless. I actually have only used them during J1 and that's when we were in lab because we had like patient scenarios and like I didn't really need them. They are pretty cheap so it wasn't like I just wasted a whole bunch of money but you don't need those. Next thing, Stoggles or like these are the off brand, these are the Amazon brand. You don't really, I have yet to use these. Like we're supposed to keep them in our bags just in case but yeah, you, you don't need them because you, there's not gonna be, like if you're in the hospital and there's something where you actually need goggles like they're gonna have them. Um, you this was this was useless so they're just gonna stay in my bag the next thing which just may be very debatable but my stethoscope case like low-key like it was like i've used it and actually i think my stethoscope is in here right now while i'm talking about you don't need it okay it is but like honestly at first i was like oh i need a stethoscope case to put my stethoscope in so it could be protected da, 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 da. but like you can really just put it in your bag like it's I don't know you don't really it's like something that you can like pass on and you're not really missing out type of thing like you don't really need a stethoscope case next thing is really overrated clothes you do not need clothes shoes they're actually not even comfortable to me like j1 i was on my feet a little bit more j2 i was not i was i sat down a lot but like the shoes they just mm -mm. They're not like a memory foam type thing. Like I actually will probably buy inserts um, because I'm gonna keep them for the rest of nursing school. But I say you don't really need clothes because no, just get like some Brooks or some on clouds. Okay, those are a little bit more expensive, but they're comfortable. I'm pretty sure I've heard like good things and Hoka's and Crocs without the holes in them. You don't need clothes, they're overrated. Okay, next thing, me personally, I had got this metal water bottle and it's just been, it was just sitting in my dorm the entire school year. Um, I never used it because whenever I would bring water, I would have a water bottle, like the water bottle that comes in from Walmart and bring that with me. Like there was no need for me to transfer it from one water bottle to another so like me personally i don't think you need to get a water bottle um unless i don't know you drink way more water than me well i lucky during like clinical days i don't drink too much water and i drink during lunchtime or whatever so do with that information as you will next thing um in my supply haul i said i didn't want a foldable clipboard because i don't have like the top pockets and my scrubs or whatever so i got the one with the storage clipboard and i would say you do not need a foldable clipboard um even if you have the top pockets because honestly like between care plans and medication sheets and your patient's printed out chart like it's going to be like a thick stack for just for that day on that foldable clipboard like low-key it's not it just looks messy and then you can't even put it into anything if it's that thick and so i just recommend getting a clipboard with storage like i said in my supply haul and you can just put that down whenever you're not using it like the foldable clipboard is kind of like overrated so yeah, that's why I didn't get one. I knew I wouldn't like it. So the next thing, these are things that I haven't, that I didn't mention in my um, supply haul because I did not get these things, but I've seen other nursing students getting these things. And I was like, there's no way that y'all actually like needed that. So first thing is a vein finder. Um, you're not gonna, use a vein finder like and if you're gonna need one in clinical they're gonna have them there for you like you literally don't need a vein finder so don't buy one <laughs> you also don't need a pulse ox 
Like they have vital sign machines in the hallways or in the patient's room. Like you don't need your own pulse ox. The next thing is a blood pressure cuff. That's the same thing with the pulse ox. Like they're gonna have their own blood pressure cuff. You don't need to bring your own like, yeah. And ours was actually included in like our nursing kit. So it was like, I had to get it. But like, if you're getting this ever, you don't need that. So don't get it. Last thing is physical copies of textbooks. If they already have an online version, like to me, physical copies are a waste of money because you already have the online version. And yeah, some people like to actually, but I don't know, it's not really needed. And like high key, most of your learning is gonna be like visual and YouTube and stuff. Like I can't just sit there and flip through a physical page book, like, no. So yeah, these are just my personal opinions on things that you don't necessarily need for nursing school. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. I know I haven't been posting. I've been super busy, um, but I'm going to be trying to post more for you guys. We're going to have some vlogs coming up and I'm going to be asking you guys what you prefer to see. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching this video and make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. I can't believe I believe